tigers and lions. I like them. I like them. Growl, growl, roar, roar, roar. I like them. Growl, growl, roar, roar, roar. I like them. We like them. I got a surprise. Wow. <laughs> Let's get in the bath and have some fun. Sliding down and counting up the fish fell in the bathtub. <laughs> One. Let's get in the bath and have some fun. Sliding down and counting up the starfish fell in the Whee! bathtub. <laughs> Bath and have some fun sliding down and counting up the green fell in the bathtub. Three! Let's get in the bath and have some fun sliding down and counting up the seal fell in the bathtub. Four! Let's get in the bath and have some fun sliding down and counting up the whale fell in the bathtub. Bath and have some fun sliding down and counting up the turtle fell in the bathtub. Six! Let's get in the bath and have some fun sliding down and counting up the dolphin fell in the bathtub. Seven! Let's get in the bath and have some fun sliding down and counting up the duck fell in the bathtub. Let's get in the bath and have some fun Sliding down and counting up The octopus fell in the bathtub Nine! Let's get in the bath and have some fun Sliding down and counting up The crocodile fell in the bathtub Ten! Let's get in the bath and have some fun I like to in the bath One Hey Katie, do you know what the vowels are? Of course! A, E, I, O, U, and sometimes Y. Well, that's right. And how would you like to sing a song about them? That would be great! Let's go! I like to eat, eat, eat apples and bananas. and bananas. Okay, now let's do it with the first vowel. A, long A. Ready? I like to eat, eat, eat apples and bananas. Now 
Katie, let's do you. You ready? To what we all know. Go! I like to eat, eat, eat apples and bananas. I like to eat, eat, eat apples and bananas. I like to eat, eat, eat apples and bananas. <laughs> that was fun. Yeah. Hey, wait a minute. Huh? The music is getting faster. Do you think we can sing faster? Well, I don't think we'll be fast enough. Let's give it a try. Are you ready? Okay. One, two, three, go! Yeah, but I think it gets faster soon. I like to eat, eat, eat apples and bananas. I like to eat, eat, eat apples and bananas. I like to eat, eat, eat apples and bananas. Amy's in the yard. In the garbage truck, picking up all the dirty bags and puts them in the bin. At me shouts, it's dinner time. Amy goes inside. She's about to start eating when her hands start speaking, and this is what they say. They are very dirty, please don't put this in your mouth. You need to wash, you need to clean away the germs before you eat. Turn on the taps and get some soap. Wash your hands together in the foam Wash it with the dirt, scrub, scrub, scrub Rinse away the germs Aaron's in the garage with the fire truck Rolling up the hose And then he checks the oil and he checks the brakes He checks everything he knows At me shouts, it's dinner time Aaron goes inside He's about to start eating when his hands start speaking And this is what they say You're very dirty, please don't put this in your mouth You need to wash, you need to clean away the germs before you eat Turn on the taps and get some soap Wash your hands together in the foam Wash it with the dirt, scrub, scrub, scrub Rinse away the germs outside of the fire truck he's trying to find a leak he pulls on a pipe on the driver's side but it covers him in grease oh no up he shouts it's dinner time dad then goes inside he's about to start eating when his hands start speaking and this is what they say you're very dirty, please don't put this in your mouth You need to wash, you need to clean away the germs before you eat Turn on the taps and get some soap Wash your hands together in the foam Wash it with the dirt, scrub, scrub, scrub Rinse away the germs This germs cannot be seen Make sure your hands are
search for at Mink. Hi everyone, and welcome back to at Mink. Today, Mr. Train is going to help us learn about numbers. Look at all those numbers we're going to get to learn today. First up, we have number one and we have one monster car next to it. The crane and trucks are helping us with some logs. Hi, Mink. Hi. Oh, and you've got number two, just like how you have two arms and two legs. The school bus and the monster truck are helping us out with this one. Now number three, and look, three stars. The dump truck is going to help us create the three using nuts. Next comes the number four and it's surrounded by four umbrellas. Mr. Train is going to show us how to make a four. Great work! Oh no! Number five is surrounded by five of Evil Dr. Pig's minions. But don't worry, Mr. Helicopter is here to show us how to make one. Number six. Look at all the presents. This time, Mr. Police Car will help us. Now, number seven. That's how many colors there are in a rainbow. The monster truck is making a seven with Lego bricks. And guess what? For number eight, we have eight Lego bricks as well. Lots of cars are showing us how to make an eight. Now we get to number nine, and there's nine apples. Let's make a nine on the wall with a paint roller. Finally, number 10, with 10 balloons. Mr. Train is making the zero, and the logs are making the one. Now, let's go through them all one more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Thanks for showing us how to count to 10, Mr. Train. We had lots of fun. Don't forget to subscribe to App Mink so we can learn more cool things. See you next time. Mom, I want to pee. Do you need help, Amy? I can do it by myself. When you get this feeling and you need to pee,
so bored, what can we do? Rain is falling, it's cold too. We could also play inside if we only found our tracks. With the police car, I will help the people. And I could paint it different colors every season. And with the train truck, I will build some houses. We could also shrink it and give it to the mouses. This is our world and things are how we want. Because with imagination, we can create. With imagination, we can play. With imagination, we have. The garbage truck will help us clean the seat Yes! And I could clean the world And do it very quickly And with this bus we'll go to different places Wow! Admin could drive it And win a lot of races This is our world and things are how we want Jumping on the bed One fell off and bumped his head Mama called the doctor and the doctor said No more monkeys jumping on the bed Four 
little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, No more monkeys jumping on the bed. Three little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, No more monkeys jumping on the bed. Two little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, No more monkeys jumping on the bed. One little monkey jumping on the bed. He fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, I said no more monkeys jumping on the bed. Search for At Mink TV. Hi everyone. Today's another beautiful day at At Mink Town. And guess what? We've got another lesson for you from Mr. Train. Are you excited? I know I am. Let's get started. Today, we're learning about fruit. Do you know what fruit is in this box? It's bananas. Bananas grow on palm trees and love to be eaten by monkeys. You just peel the yellow skin off and chow down. Now, what fruit is this? It's an apple. There are over 7,000 different types of apples. If you tried one per day, it'd take you 20 years to taste them all. Apples are delicious, but make sure you don't eat the middle. That bit's not very tasty. To get apples, we plant an apple seed from the core in the ground, and it grows into an apple tree. Now what's our next fruit? It's a pear. Pears come in different colors, including green, orange, yellow, and even red. And they grow on trees much like apples. The wood from pear trees can be used to make lots of nice things, like ornaments, tables, and musical instruments like the cello. Now our next fruit often comes in pears. It's cherries. Cherries grow on beautiful trees called cherry blossoms. They produce about 800 cherries. Cherries are great when you have them with dessert, like cupcakes or pies, and look great on top. Wow, look at the size of that cherry pie. I hope that's not just for you, Fennec Fox. Now this fruit will be hard to guess. Can you get it? It's a coconut. Coconuts grow on palm trees in tropical places like deserted islands. The trees can reach 20 meters tall, which is as high as an 8th floor building. Hi, Big Mink. Hi. Ah, oh, coconut. Now I bet you can all guess this fruit. It's the pineapple. Pineapples grow out of the ground and are actually a type of berry. If you slice off the top, you can use it to grow a new one. Wow, Mink, that pineapple is gigantic! Maybe you should invite your friends to help eat it. Wow, look at The largest pineapple is 32 centimeters long and weighed over 8 kilograms. Does everybody know this next fruit? It's lemons! Lemons grow on trees much like apples and pears. The trees are called evergreens and produce fruit all year. Oh, you like lemons, Miss Mink? No, too sour. Lemons are tastiest when you make lemonade by squeezing out their juices. You can also use lemons as a battery. Isn't that amazing? 
Okay, on to the next fruit. It's oranges. Oranges are another fruit that grows on trees like lemons. Oranges are like the children of Pinellos and the older <laughs> brothers of mandarins. <laughs> to eat an orange, first peel off the skin, which you can then use to make some nice tea or for making cakes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oranges usually break into ten pieces after you take the skin off. Our next fruit is an old favorite. It's strawberries. Strawberries are covered in lots of tiny little seeds. The only fruit like this. There can be as many as 200. They grow on long stalks that come out of the ground that only produce fruit for five years. Strawberries are another fruit that goes great with dessert. The pine berry is a type of strawberry that's very pale and tastes like a pineapple. Do you know what our next fruit is? It's blackberries. They hang off the end of long branches. But watch out for the thorns. Blackberry leaves are great in tea. And if you feed blackberries to bees, they make delicious, dark, fruity honey. You can even use them to make pies, creams, ice creams, and jams. And they're all delicious. What do we have this time? It's the blueberry. Blueberries are great because you can eat lots of them before you get full. You can also use blueberries to make paint. So you and your friends can paint beautiful pictures. And just like other berries, you can make lots of delicious things like jams, pies, and ice creams. Thanks for another awesome lesson, Mr. Train. Let's go through them again. Banana, apple, pear, cherry, coconut, pineapple, lemon, orange, strawberry, blackberry, and blueberry. Thanks everyone for joining us on this learning adventure. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you next time.
Search for App Mink. Hi, everybody, and welcome back to another educational adventure with Mr. Train and everyone from App Mink Town. Hi, Mr. Train. Today, we're going to learn about shapes. How many shapes do you know? Let's find out. The first shape is a circle. Did you know that the sun is a circle? Look at how happy he is about it. The police car and the school bus are showing us how the circle goes round and round. Next is the triangle. Did you know pyramids are made from triangles? These pyramids come all the way from Egypt. Mr. Train is showing us the triangle shape this time. Our third shape is the square. A square has four sides. Look at those exciting square presents. I wonder what's inside. The monster truck is bringing us four Lego blocks to make the four sides of the square. Our next shape is the pentagon. Did you know that the black spots on soccer balls are pentagons? But not the white spots. We'll find out about those next. The crane trucks are bringing us logs to use as the five sides of the pentagon. Stop! Oh, wait, it's just our next shape, the hexagon. Now, if we line up the holes at the end of these six beams, we can make a hexagon. Let's lock them in place with the screws. Our sixth shape is a super shape. It's the star. And we have our superstar star here with us too. What's this? What is Evil Dr. Pig doing? Oh, he's pretending to be Pac-Man and eating Pac-Dots in the corners of the star. Now, we've got a diamond shape. Most kites are diamond shaped, with the tail flowing down from the bottom point. To make a diamond, we're going to get some help from our good friend, Mr. Duck Truck. Next is one of the loveliest shapes, the heart shape. Look at all the heart that little bear has got to give. Remember to give the people you love hearts like this bear to show them you care. Mr. Helicopter is going to draw a big heart in the sky for us. Thanks so much, Mr. Helicopter. It looks great. Our ninth shape is the oval. And what are the ovals we have in the basket? That's right, they're eggs. The dump truck is going to dump the eggs in the shape of an oval. It's an oval of ovals. Great work, Mr. Dump Truck! Our last shape is the rectangle. It looks like a stretched out square. Let's build a rectangle out of blocks. And now that we know how to make one, we can paint a rectangle on the wall. If you think you can draw a rectangle as well, draw one in the air with your finger. That's all of the shapes for today. Let's go through them one more time. Circle, triangle, square, pentagon, hexagon, star, diamond, heart, oval, and rectangle. Thanks so much for your help, Mr. Train, and everyone else from App Mink. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Are you ready for the next song? This one's about an itsy bitsy little spider. Come on, let's sing! Incy wincy spider climbed up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed poor Incy out. Out came the sunshine and dried up all the rain. So Incy wincy spider climbed up the spout again. Spider climbed up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed poor Incy out. Out came the sunshine and dried up all the rain. So Incy Wincy Spider climbed up the spout again. Incy Wincy Spider climbed.
climbed up the water spout Down came the rain and washed poor Incy out Out came the sunshine and dried up all the rain So Incy, Incy Spider climbed up the spout again Incy, Incy Spider climbed up the water spout Down came the rain and washed poor Incy out Sunshine and dried up all the rain. So Incy Wincy Spider climbed up the spout again. Search for App Mink. Hi, everybody. Today we're going to build all the letters in the alphabet. Look out, the alphabet train is coming through. First is the letter A. A for apple. The train goes up. Then another comes down. And finally, the stop sign lies over the middle. Now, the letter B for ball. The monster truck goes down. And then he goes around and around. C is for car. C is a big sideways rainbow. D is for dog. To build a D, we race down, then around from the bottom to the top. E is for eggs. We do two blocks on the side, then one at the top, one in the middle, and one at the bottom. F is for flower. For this letter, we water down the front, then across the top, then the middle. G is for gift. To build a G, we drive around in a loop, then place a gift in the middle. H is for hat. We put a log on the left, a log on the right, and then a little one in between. I is for igloo. Look, the tracks from these igloos make the shape of an eye. J is for jelly. To build a J, we go down and do a big turn at the bottom, then across the top. K is for kite. First, we go down the left, then come in and bounce off. L is for light. The water falls down, then flows off to the right. M is for magnet. The car building M goes down, then down again, then up, then down. N is for nut. We can use nuts to build an N, but we need a lot of them. O is for orange. 
Watch the cars go round and round in the shape of an O. P is for pig. Inspector Pig's inspector footprints mean he has been inspecting in the shape of a P. Q is for Queen. The train tracks go in a loop with a tunnel near the bottom. R is for Ring. Watch as the trail from the helicopter makes an R for us. S is for star. The fox skis curve back and forth to make an S. T is for tiger. We can build a T with crayons so easily. U is for Umbrella. Whoops! Looks like these tracks were going the wrong way and had to turn back around in the shape of a U. V is for Violin. Watch as the ball comes down and bounces off like a V. W is for Wheel. Down then up, then down, then up. X is for xylophone. Watch as the traffic crosses just like an X. Y is for yellow. We can use yellow paint to paint a Y. Z is for zoo. Watch as the fire truck drives on the Z track. Now that the train has showed us how to build all the letters, it's time for him to go home. Thanks, Mr. Train. Now we can build everything from A to Z. See you next time.
to the circle. C I R C L E. Circle. Great. Let's do more circles. A lot of circles. Wow. Circle, smile, one eye, two eyes. <laughs> Red cheeks, a sun. Hello, sun. <laughs> Circle, what is this? Ah, a bull. Circle, 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 circle. It's a flower! Mmm! Nice! Let's draw a wheel! Go, go, monster truck! Go in a circle! <laughs> so many circles! So much fun! Subscribe! See you next time! Coming soon! Learn about Square! Please subscribe to Atmink for new videos! Today is a sunny day! If it's sunny, don't forget to wear your shades! If it's sunny, don't forget to wear sunscreen. Don't forget to wear sunscreen. Don't forget to wear your shades. Don't forget them if today is a sunny day. Today is a cloudy day. If it's cloudy, don't forget to wear your vest. If it's cloudy, don't forget to wear your hat. Don't forget to wear your hat Don't forget to wear your vest Don't forget them if today is a cloudy day Today is a windy day If it's windy, don't forget to wear your jacket If it's windy, don't forget to tie your hair Don't forget to tie your hair don't forget to wear your jacket Don't forget them if today is a windy day Today is a rainy day If it's rainy, don't forget to wear your raincoat If it's rainy, don't forget to wear your boots Don't forget to wear your boots Don't forget to wear your raincoat Don't forget them if today is a rainy day Today is a snowy day If it's snowy, don't forget to wear your coat If it's snowy, don't forget to wear your gloves Don't forget to wear your gloves Don't forget to wear your coat Don't forget them if today is a snowy day
<laughs> Hi-ya! Another square! A square window! Hey! Hi! <laughs> over here! Over here! So many squares! Hooray! Thank you, Mink! Can I please have a toy horse? On our way! Delivery service! We have a toy horse delivery! Hmm... Delivery oh. service! Let's get to work! Uh. Your order has arrived! <laughs> Here you go! Thank you, Aaron! My pleasure! Bye! Phew! Hmm. Hmm. I need something to drink. I know. Hi, it's the delivery of the delicious soda. Can you give me the largest soda you have, please? Coming right up. Delivery service. Let's go. <gasps> Order completed. Here is the soda. <gasps> Where's my soda? Hey, you forgot the soda! There it is! Oh, no! Hmm, <laughs> <sighs> <sighs> aha! Delivery service, what do you need? Do you have any popcorn? Yes, we'll go right away! Great! Here we go! Your order has arrived. Yeah. Mm. Bye. Thank, Thank you. you. Hmm. Delivery service. Hello. Toys. Lots of good toys. Hmm. Uh huh. Yup. Okay. On our way. Toys. Lots of toys. <laughs> What's in there? What's that? Something rare? What's that? I want to know. Show us. Curious. Show us. Here I go. What's that? Ba 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 fire truck. Ba 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 fire truck. What's in there?
Yes, you! Not me! Yeah. Yeah. 